Hi, and welcome to Flinders University. Flinders University opened its doors to provide quality higher education in 1966. Today, over 17,000 full-time students, including more than 2,000 students from 85 countries, have chosen Flinders to complete their studies. Flinders University is large enough that students have choices, variety and exceptional facilities, but small enough to provide personalised support to students. Flinders University is very well known as being one of the research intensive universities within Australia. It's also one of the universities that does extremely well in the Australian teaching and learning performance. Research is a core activity at Flinders and for its size it's consistently one of Australia's most successful research universities. Flinders University seeks to foster excellence, innovation and flexibility in teaching. I think the thing that I like about Flinders are the teachers, the grounds, and I guess the, the teaching environment as well, the, the way that everyone gets treated as individuals. Passing on skills and knowledge to students and bringing the workplace to the, um, to the learning environment so that I get to see them um, resolving the problems and, and the issues that I have to resolve myself when I'm working in the same field. The staff here take teaching incredibly seriously. They put a huge amount of effort into it and as such, uh, give the students an awful lot of their time. I've been able to have a lot of personal contact with my lecturers which has been a really good way of making me feel settled into uni. Flinders has been recognised regularly in the national awards for university teaching since 2001. Most notably, in 2004 and 2006 it won the Prime Minister's Award for Australian University Teacher of the Year. Professor Ian Hay from the Science and Engineering Faculty being the recipient of this award in 2006. This is the nation's top prize for university teaching. An extraordinary accomplishment, which places Flinders as one of Australia's finest universities. Yeah, they're really supportive and for my supervisor, for my honours project, he's, um, he's a bit strict, <laughs> but at the same time he, he actually pushed me on uh, really hard for me to achieve really well. The Faculty of Science and Engineering is one of four faculties that make up the university, offering more than 35 undergraduate degree programs and up to 12 postgraduate degree programs across four schools. All staff offer PhD supervision. The faculty has many areas of strength, and some of these include nanotechnology. In fact, Flinders University offered the very first bachelor degree program in Australia and was a pioneer globally. It now offers undergraduate through to PhD in nanotechnology. Biotechnology. Flinders has had a biotechnology program since 1990 and is in the unique position of being able to offer specialisation in health, environment, food and agriculture, and industrial biotechnology. The degree has a strong focus on research and business planning. Water. The $55 million National Centre for Groundwater Research and Training is based right here at Flinders, which involves several Australian universities and is headed by Flinders academic Professor Craig Simmons. Engineering. Flinders University Engineering is focused on electronics-based high technology. A distinctive feature of the Flinders Awards is the nationally recognised six-month industry placement. Environmental Management. Environmental management looks at how environmental systems work and how human activities impact on these systems and how our environmental behaviour can be better managed to minimise this impact. Flinders are set in a natural garden environment. The hillside location of the university provides some fantastic views to the coast and city. Flinders boasts state-of-the-art environmentally friendly buildings which provide excellent learning environments for students. Flinders University is truly at the cutting edge. The Faculty of Science and Engineering houses instruments and technology that underpin government and industry funded research in wide ranging areas. These areas include aquaculture, laser chemistry, nanotechnology, robotics, biotechnology, forensics, electron physics, biomedical engineering, hydrology, marine biology and environmental management. Here are just a few projects currently being undertaken by Flinders Science and Engineering Faculty. One of the areas that I work in particularly is in developing um, training simulators to teach doctors how to carry out procedures so that they actually don't have to practice on patients. So for example one of the devices we've developed is a epidural injection simulator. We work 
with a material called a carbon nanotube. And basically what we do is we stand the tubes up on a surface like this and, and so it's, it's a hollow cylinder. Turns out that hollow cylinder conducts electrons really, really well. If we can get this to work properly, it actually should be really, really efficient. And we should also be able to make a window, the windows in your house, could become the solar cells that power your entire house. Another great thing about Flinders is that you also have the opportunity to work closely with industry. We talk to the clinicians, find out what their problems are. We find a company who will help us actually get the thing through to the market and then we work together collectively. It's a program we put together and in the first 12 months we had 50 companies coming and knocking on the door. Flinders University, it really does have it all. Friendly people, beautiful campus, supportive teachers, quality education. Put that together with Adelaide's fantastic lifestyle and you really can't beat it.